What is up everybody, my name is Huts, and welcome to the Lord of the Rings Adventure Card Game. Before we begin, I'd like to thank Asmodee Digital for sponsoring this episode. I appreciate you supporting my channel. Another important note, this game is currently available right now on Steam. There will also be a console release on Xbox One, PS4, and the Switch coming later in the fall of 2019. Links is always in the description down below if you want to go and check it out right now. So here we are you guys, Lord of the Rings absolutely love that franchise. Just so you know, this game actually is based off of the card game that is currently available. Although with unique differences, of course, as you can expect adapting it to a digital playstyle. This game is much like other deck builders like Hearthstone or Magic the Gathering. But what makes this unique is the lore, the story building, the fact that it's in J.R.R. Tolkien's Lord of the Rings setting. It's single player or co-op, but there's no PVP. It's all against a computer, so you can take your time, you can really sit down and absorb the whole thing. Also, just the way that the card game works, it, it's, it's different than the other two games that I mentioned, but you'll see that in a second. Let's dive in, you guys, into the single player campaign here. I've already beat the tutorial, so I kind of know what I'm talking about, like, you know, a little bit. We're gonna start the first campaign. There's a couple campaigns. There is these uh, encounters, which are just one-offs, I believe. I don't know the extent as to how many campaigns, but given the fact that there's this big old map, I'm assuming that we just continue to unlock more things. Oh man, I'm excited. So. What happened uh, in the tutorial is we were following Bilbo and he was trying to go with his friend Gloin. Traveling through the woods, he ends up meeting some elves and they get attacked by a bunch of spiders. Bilbo gets taken captive and I'm assuming now we're gonna start off in, uh, with trying to save him. I'm gonna do the uh, adventure. This is like um, the middle difficulty. Narrative is basically like, you know, if you wanna take a chill and you just wanna enjoy the story and have an easy play. Easy playthrough. I built my own deck, but I don't think I'm really a professional here at building decks. It didn't really go that well. I might just go ahead and pick one of these pre-built decks. Each deck is a total of three heroes. Each hero has a sphere of influence, it's called. These spheres of influence would be like in magic, like red or black or a mountain or swamp. You can only have cards from each sphere of influence. We're not gonna dive in that deep, with the, uh, the rules here and the nuances surrounding the game, you kind of pick it up as you go. And if you're interested in the game, there's a lot more for you to dive into. Let's just start off with the battle deck, the standard one. You'll notice right here, a familiar face, that's Gimli. So far I've seen Legolas, Aragorn, Gandalf. Pretty exciting. Like I said, I love Lord of the Rings, so let's do this thing, let's go. After arriving at Beyond's Hall, you've learned the famous Bilbo Baggins was taken by Mirkwood Spiders mere hours ago. Without hesitation, you volunteer to find and retrieve the Hobbit, hopefully before he's consumed, or worse. And so you find yourself before Greenwood the Great, that the wary and the wise call Mirkwood. A sleeping evil once inhabited the Greenwood, but was purged many years ago. The forest has since known a period of peace and the return of wholesome life. As the shadows now gather under the trees, you sense a foulness on the air. You fear evil may have returned to this realm. Ooh. You begin to search for clues as to which direction the spiders took Bilbo. There are ample signs of recent struggle in the small glade, and several of the Hobbit's possessions are strewn about. After a few moments, you notice a gleam of metal on the forest floor. Perhaps a sign. You're about to investigate as several giant spiders creep into the glade. They don't seem at all interested in assisting the search. Quite the contrary. Lol, they're attacking me. All right, this is our starting hand. We can uh, sub some of them out if we don't like them. A lot of block that we have going on right now. These are equipment cards. These two are allies with attack, with health, and a willpower. This is an effect card over here. Zero cost. I don't see that being useful right away. Let's get rid of it and uh, get something new. Another equipment, Dwarven Axe, okay. Resolve Glint of Steel or defeat every enemy in play. So this is obviously turn-based, but the way that the turns in this game work is a little different. Every single time that I take an action, Sauron gets to take an action back. So it's a one for one until neither of us can go anymore. If I run out of actions to do, Sauron gets to do as many actions as he wants to until his turn is finally up and vice versa. So energy here or resources, pretty important. I was gonna say it's a pretty important resource. Yeah, I'd, I'd say resources are pretty important resources. Every single card here is 
uh, very unique. Some of them have these effects like plus one attack, plus one willpower at six or more health. So he got both of those things applied. That's why they're green. Gimli, plus one attack. The first time a character takes damage this round. Eowyn, plus two willpower. The first time a character takes damage this round. Okay, so we activate as soon as we take damage. I almost want to take damage now. Not exactly with this guy though, because he gets the benefit at six or more health. But here's what I could do here. I could give him Gondorian shield. I could give him plus two health and he could gain block. I don't know if that's going to give him plus two max health. Give him the shield of Rohan as well, which is plus one health and block. Problem here being if I go ahead and, and do this, that'll be my turn. Sauron gets one turn back. Let's try it. Let's see if this works. Block means that he takes one less damage every time he is attacked. And I'm thinking that maybe, you know, Honestly, I should probably give it to Gimli because then we could have Gimli guard and I could show you what that means later. So let's, let's do it. Let's give it to Gimli. His max health did increase, which is fantastic. Sauron got a turn, attacked Eowyn for two damage. Now we got the attack bonus, the willpower bonus. This dude's still feeling pretty strong. Um, I, like I said, I can go ahead and block. These, he is exhausted now that he's used his move, right? So each character is, it's like kind of being tapped. You're, you're exhausted. With Gimli, I, here's a willpower button. I could click on this and he will actually put his willpower into the fate meter over here, which could, um, if I get it up to two, so if I use Eowyn, she'll get it up to three. I could use this Adder Top, Adder Cop, Adder Cop, which will exhaust up to two spider units. Could be useful if that's the way I want to go. What's Bilbo's pack? Gives me a Lumbus Bread, restores two health to a character, and then readies it if they're exhausted. Okay, cool. At seven, I get Gloin. Ooh, another hero. I'd like to give my Dwarven Axe to Gimli as well. I could just really beef him up and then have him continue to block. So here's the willpower button, here's the block button, the fence button. So if I do that, then the next enemy that attacks has to attack him. And then I think that both of them will be exhausted. But the fact that I did this, I'll do the damage back to whoever attacks me, which I'm assuming is gonna be this spider here on the right, unless Sauron plays a different card or something. So let's, let's try it, let's block. Yep, exactly what I thought was gonna happen. I have no energy left, so here's the problem. Sauron has four energy left. I'm gonna run out of things to do, and Sauron is just gonna continue on and probably kick my ass. That's what we get for spending all three of our uh, resources immediately. By the way, resources, they do carry over from turn to turn. If you don't use it, you get to keep it, which is something that you really, really need to think about. So we need to kill all enemies in play, which I'm assuming Sauron's just gonna keep bringing more enemies in play, or get the Glint of Steel. Get that unlocked, which will require eight willpower. I like the idea of doing that. It seems like they might be targeting my Eowyn. I don't want any of my heroes to die. But I don't want to have to go all the way until um, all the enemies are defeated. That probably means he runs out of cards, like all 30 of his cards in his deck, because you start with 30 cards are, are done. <laughs> Let's put our three willpower onto the, no onto the uh, objective here. Yeah, they're targeting her hard. I'm gonna still keep going, cause like we could just move on. We can move on to the next one. I'm assuming there's gonna be uh, multiple locations here. This is just being the first. Spider of Merkwood 3-5. Youch, that hurts. We're taking a lot of damage here. We, do, we get one card draw, we get three energy. Sauron goes back up to plus four energy or something like that and gets a full deck. Will of Steel, apply one hero's damage as progress to the objective. Could totally do that to this guy right here and then it, we would just get it done. All right, well, let's let's try that. Let's see if we can just finish this thing. Use that on him to that. Glint of Steel, lying in the forest floor is a small, even blade, beautiful, strong, and light. This must be Bilbo's sword sting, a valuable treasure. Oh, we're not done? You've completed the goal for this location. Travel now to avoid the looming threat. I, I, I think, the way that it was explained to me before is that Sauron is going to get the ability to finish the whole round up if I decide to travel. So he just gets to just go ham. Unexhausted enemies may attack. So that's going to be two, four, five, six damage. That's just going to be unaccounted for. Eowyn would probably pass by the time that we were able to get to the next location. So it would be smart of me to actually play out the round, I believe. I'm going to block with Gimli. Then I'm gonna block with Dal Dwalin. We need more allies on the field, really. That's what's, what's the problem is. I don't think I have any healing at all. 
He just lost his uh, bonuses because he's below six health now. Great, awesome, sweet. Now let's apply a block to her since she's just gonna take damage. Oh, you know what? She actually can attack and they don't get the ability to fight back. Unlike Hearthstone, I do my damage without taking damage back. It's a free hit, so maybe I should have hit with him instead of blocking with him. It would have saved me from taking the damage. All right, all of that is done. I get a chance here to do some stuff, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and do Shield of Rohan on... I, I, I like doing it on this guy, right? Because he gains the bonus, plus, you know, if I have him block more, but she might need it more since they're targeting her, like, real, real hard. What's Sting, though? Plus one attack, plus two when attacking Orc or Spider units. That could be nice as well. Let's do Shield of Rohan on this guy. Sauron's turn, he gets to keep going. Treachery, that's like a trap card. And we're done. Okay, let's travel. Let's go. I don't feel like that really went well, honestly. Bilbo's mind must have been clear during the first moments after his capture. You notice that he slid his sword along the undergrowth as he was hauled away. When the spider's poison immobilized him, he must have dropped Sting. Encouraged, you venture into the shadowy green-gray wilderness that is Mirkwood. The small cocoon has dropped before the lady. Ha! Eats it, my lady! Scrumptious it is! Tasty! Sweet! <laughs> the skinny creature squeals in pleasure and anticipation, jumping to and fro on arms and legs as if a spider himself. The creature gives the cocoon a kick. False it is! Baffins! Trickster! Thief! Cheater! Eats it! Eats it! The enormous spider moves to hover over the cocoon. Spear-sized mandibles emerge slowly from its dripping maw. Suck it to bounces, milady! No hangingness or drying is needed. Not like tough dwarfs or tricky elves. Sweet. And juicy habitus. Just leave clothes, my lady. Ow. Ow. For precious, precious, he's in its pockets. My precious. The spider monstrosity is about to delve into her meal when a sudden noise is heard from the edge of the lair. Flapping its hands nervously and bobbing its scrawny neck. Please. Don't listen to what's in noises, my lady. Eat, eat, while habit is warm. Someone has arrived, and the spiders move to greet them. For hours you delve into the menacing forest. Thorny undergrowth and sticky crawlers grab at you as if with minds of their own. A subtle change in the echo of the wood heralds a change in scenery and you soon come upon a dark, gurgling stream. While the watery smells and soothing sounds relax you, you've been warned not to trust any water in Mirkwood, save for that gathered from fresh rain. The spiders must have crossed the stream by traversing the canopies above, but how will you cross? A nearby dead tree may be the answer. You attempt to push at the dry trunk, hoping for it to fall and bridge the stream, Unfortunately, your efforts attract the local wildlife. Rot row. Dude, I need some health. Maybe I should have done the, the deck that I built. It seems better than this. Find your way across the stream. We can down a tree, push over the tree, or we can... Uh, oh, we have to... Okay. We have to get the blocked path first, as noted by the lock here on the down tree. So we have to... Let's hear what it says. Yeah, so we can kill the enemies or focus harder on the blocked path. I really think that we need to uh, get some more people out here. Maybe the veteran axe hands, maybe the warden. Uh, warden will give me another immediate ability to cast something. Any of these guys ranged? How do I kill? Okay, I can't kill the flying things until they attack. Once they attack, they will no longer be um, flying. Really should have started with my own deck. She could easily die immediately. Let's get another guy out there. We'll use our Surge that he gives us. And I think I'm gonna block with Gimli. All right, really need more resources here. Eowyn is my top person 
for knocking down these willpower-based objectives. I, ooh, ooh, I can't really afford to lose her. Block with the warden. All right, that thing had a uh, revenge summon black forest bats, I think. That's why that just came up. This guy could actually kill the snickety snake, and I think I'll do that. Sauron took a munchy munch out of my warden. And then she's gonna work on the, the blocked path. It wouldn't really be a bad idea for me to try to kill some of these flying enemies, but argh, that's what Gimli's block is for, I suppose. I will smite you if you touch him. More flyers! Oh no, dude. Eowyn's done. Oh, she's so done. Oh my god. Actually, she's done. I like I was kidding Like I was I was not being that serious, but oh my god, what the hell man? This is terrible. I can't what, what am I supposed to do? Hey, we got a ranged person. This is really not going well plus energy to Sauron or resources rather to Sauron if I kill the Mirkwood flock spies of shadow flying end which means when I end the phase Plus one onto this threat counter. To explain this threat counter, you guys, we started at 30, I think, because, let's see here, this guy gives 10 onto the count, this hero gave 10, and the other hero gave 10 starting onto the threat level. Every phase adds one threat on, and then there's certain characters, like Spy of Shadows, that can affect the level of threat. And as soon as Sauron gets to certain levels of threat, 34, 35, 41, and 47, Sauron can do stuff like summon the Brood Elder, which just is just like a free thing that Sauron can just do. Exhaust one random ally. It does not ready in the next upkeep. So like that's this is like that's really bad for me. We want to keep the threat level low. If it if it reaches 50, then I'm dead. And then it's over no matter what. I'm kind of uncertain what I'm supposed to do. What if I just went ham on <laughs> the objective right now? Um, we're getting overrun. Hardcore. Just don't know how to handle the situation. These guys are all just gonna attack. If I put the Gladhon Archer, Galadon, Galadon Archer down, she's gonna immediately be killed by everything. Better an axe hand that could put him down. Maybe would be a good idea. We'll see. It, it stinks that like I don't actually get to attack back when they attack me, just like that. Humor horns, these bees flying and summon one humor horns. Wait a second. If I kill him, oh, end. If I don't kill him by the time that the, the phase ends, then he gets another one. Oh, uh, yeah, you're done. <laughs> Gotta take you out, son. This is not going well, like I said. I think that mm, he could take out one of these rats. This guy could take out one of these rats, too. Maybe the one that hasn't attacked yet would be a nice idea. I don't suppose so. Maybe try to wait until he's a done he's done attacking to get out my Galadon Archer. Maybe he should do this. Probably I could get a free kill on that rat though. Oh, ah, oh, e, ah. Sauron's sitting up there with five extra energy. He's gonna summon so many more things, I think. Get the block path to set yourself up for the future here. My turn. Uh, get the Galadon Archer in. Deal one damage on arrival. Who do I want to kill first, though? The bats? The Mirkwood flock? Every time I attack this enemy, it gains one threat. So maybe I want to take it out sooner than later on that Mirkwood flock. You breathe so loud. Shoot get her done. Get her out of here. That looked like it didn't actually count as an attack because the threat level did not increase. So that seemed like that was the right thing to do there. And one more turn. She has zero um, willpower, so... She's also got ranged abilities, which can go through something called guard, which is not anything to worry about in the moment, but that's still nice. Yeah, he's gonna summon so many more things. Okay, yeah, that was fun. It was a lot of fun playing, though. Loved it. Finally, Sauron passes. And with the end end, he just added two things onto his threat level. He's gonna go ahead and bring that Brood Elder out next turn. Yeah, there he, there he goes. 
there he goes. That was all of it. Okay. Will Warrior Sword plus one attack. I can put on one of these guys. Also got Sting. I've got the Dwarven Axe. It's just, it's not really cutting it. Maybe I'll give Gimli Sting. Gimli might be the only thing, but this two willpower here might be the only thing that can carry us through this. Rovanian Outrider, I think that's gonna be, ooh, that's gonna be really nice too for this if, if I could bring him in and have him not die. I'm gonna try for that. I'm gonna bring him in and try to have him not die. Please don't die. We must stand together. Ouch, Gimli. Hold on. Hold on to your horses. Literally, horse, go. This might be like the second of three or four or five or 75 different locations. And if we have to keep going, you guys, I don't, under, I know, I just, I, this, this deck, I can't. I can't do it. It's not good. Unlock it. It's like literally the only thing I can do. Ah. Oh. Not, not the best. Completed the goal for this location. Travel now. I don't want to travel anymore. I want to be done. We have to obviously save Bilbo, but we're screwed. Dwarven Axe, Gimli. Can I also give him the Warrior Sword? How many slots does he have? Let's try it out, see what happens. Replace the current attachment. No, I don't want to do that. Can you give it to this guy? Cool. Muck Adder. I, I think we're just dead. See what happens when we travel. The dead tree falls across the stream with a splintery crack. You use the fallen trunk to step across, careful to not slip. What could cause wild creatures to attack so? Perhaps the corrupted stream is their main source of water. As you jump off the trunk on the far side, a deep rumble greets you. For a brief moment, you wonder what could make such a sound, but only for a brief moment. For out of the shadows shambles an enormous black bear. It roars. The sound is staggering. It fills the air like a living thing, terrifying and primordial. The impact of the roar sends you reeling backwards, almost into the stream. It charges, an avalanche of fur, teeth and claws. Ah, uh, jeez, we're not even close to being done. Oh! I can officially say that I chose the absolute opposite deck in which I should have chosen. Four damage, which means one of these guys not doing well. For here in Lancer, I really like that with the ranged ability. Defeat, yeah, just defeat him. Every time I play a card, this is a, a, another uh, effect card that he's got active. Adds on to the threat level and at 41. Recover each of your allies that entered play. Not sure if that's gonna bring everything that he's currently played before that. More wild bears if he gets up to 42, we're at 39. So I think I need to take that out immediately. But, uh, but, ooh, I, do, uh, I don't really, oh, uh, okay. Can't use Sting either, because these guys are loaded. Uh, Rohirrim Lancer, I, 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 yeah, ah, uh, fuck. Run them down! <laughs> Yeah, it was, okay, that maybe wasn't the best move, but at least these guys won't die. Five damage is good. Yeah, okay, what do I do? I, I literally, I have to kill the bear, but if I don't kill this thing, then we're we're also dead. How would you like to die, is basically, oh, okay, yeah. Let's just do both. I'd like to die both ways, please. Oh, he ended up having a card that just gave it to him anyways. Yeah, hmm, I can take out the bears. I can at least kill one of them. Ouch. Wait a second, he exhausts, exhausts any character that he attacks. That warrior sword and sting that I can't use though. How nice is that? He still has all of his energy. Well, thank you guys for watching. It's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun.
Oh, the Galadon Archer, we're saved. Stalwart, units with this keyword get one extra action each round. Pursuit, if I don't kill him right now, he he follows me. What are you gonna do there, Dwalin? You're in a really good position, by the way. I think you're really gonna do well. Die, bear. You breathe, man. Shoot you, dog. Cool. You can protect your heroes by using the defense ability on the characters that you weren't actually able to bring onto the field because you didn't have enough energy. Thanks for the tip. Appreciate it. If we really want to, we can go ahead and, and uh, take a peek at all of the cards that Sauron is gonna use. And the, given the fact that I haven't seen half of them means we've probably only made it halfway through the entire campaign. Let's maybe use my custom deck and see how it goes. It bumped me back to narrative difficulty. You know what? Fuck it. I want to get through this. I clearly am, am no good at this game. Oh well. After arriving at the oh, can comfortably say this is going better. This is why ranged enemies are or ranged allies are good. I serve no man. I'm controlling the board a lot better right now. Killing enemies as they come in. I like that. We can we can let the objective take a back seat sometimes. There we go. There we go. There we go. Take out the brood elder immediately. Probably. Or I could faint it right now. Over. Oh, uh, heal somebody. Heal somebody. Heal somebody. Probably me. Could faint him, reduce his attack to, to zero this round. Probably the best thing to do. Cancel the next event played. You are such a dick. You are a hole of dick. Let's bolt to the door. Take him out. Got him. All right, let's finish up this turn here. What if I did the fate meter right now. Uh-oh, he just restored it to full. You're such a douche. Right when I use the person who should have done it. If we fate all three of these instead of go for this, we could get Gloin on our team. That could be pretty poppin'. Give him the Gundorian shield, maybe? Let's just work on the objective, I think. He's passing, so I get to go. Free reign, let's get Gloin. I'm doing it. Summon Gloin. Now I, I I'm at a full seven, so I can't have any more people on the on the the battlefield. I think I really do want to give him Gondorian shields, because I can't play any other characters at least right now. Let's let's beef him up so he can start blocking for me. He's just beefing up the treacheries. You know, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Get this, uh, get this thing done. We're done. I'm out of here. Sauron sucks. Sweet, dude. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. All right. Now we're back to the bear. Let's do this. I'm ready. This thing exhausts anybody that attacks. This, this is a revenge defeat one minion. If he ends up blocking and the bear attacks him, right? Does that mean the bear dies because the bear is a minion or is the bear a hero or you're a non-minion, right? Like, how do I know if that affects him or not? One would like to think that it, it would. We could use more dead characters so I could bring in some other people too. All right, sorry, Brandy Buck, you're gonna block. It did not work. Probably has something to do with this, like, you know, he's probably like a special character, not a minion. I don't know what a minion is. Where does it say minion? We do get free reign, though, to attack him. Should we bring in somebody first before we do that? Or hear him, Lancer. I love these ranged dudes. Well, the Warden, though, if you brought the Warden, we'd get an action surge. Action surge. shall be preserved. If I get up to eight fate, I can bring in my own, my own, uh, fucking bear. <laughs> Let's try to kill him before he gets to 41 here. Gimli. Kill him. 
plus two attack on that bear. He really needs to die. He cannot stand alone. Don't heal him, please. Gain stalwart. What does that mean again? One extra action each round. Oh my god. He needs to die. Please do not heal him. Watchful eyes. More of these things. I don't want to summon the bears, but he's dead. You completed the goal for this location. Easy! Yeah! Let's beef up our fate meter. Before the monotony of the forest claws at you again, you come upon a sudden clearing. The sluggish breeze and one gray light of the dell are a welcome change from the humid twilight of the forest. On the far side of the clearing, you spy what you've been looking for. A group of large spiders hovering over a tightly wound cocoon. It's time for a rescue. Final encounter, let's do this. Is that him? Oh man, he's squirming around. A thick cocoon jerks wildly from side to side. Slash at the strands to free the occupant. Thrashing cocoon, it better be him. Defeat six enemy units or defeat every enemy in play for the final encounter. So do I have to get him free or is it defeat six units? Oh, who are you? Giant spider with guard. That's what we have our ranged units for. Unbearable gloom, recover for each of your allies that enter play. I don't know what recover really means. Wait, what? Recover as in like he put them back in my hand. I was like, oh, I got these ranged units. Urgh. Puts them back in my hand, god damn it. That means they lost all of their abilities too. They had shit on them. Plus one damage, plus one damage. No way, no fucking way. The second I spawn one of these guys, they're just gonna take them out immediately. Maybe some Gimli block. Or some Aragorn block right now. It's the final stage, right? And, and we lost our aid out of whatever fate thing. If I get to 12, is something special happen? Probably not. Ooh, we should maybe use Adder Cop right now and set us up pretty. Exhaust up to two spiders. Maybe the both regards. I like that. That's nice. Now I can hit them. And because they're guarding, they would have done the damage back, but now they won't. And I need to kill them immediately. Both of them. Ah, uh, shoot. Gamely's gonna gain a bonus the first time a character is attacked. Let's maybe get our, our lancers out first. And then he'll be attacked. Gamely gets his bonus. And then we strike. Nice. He's got another guarding. A garter -er in gur gur garter. I've got ranged. Take him out. Take out the big boy. Now five enemies left. Hatchling spider. Don't care. Take out this guard boy. He cannot stand alone. Four left. Here's what we could do. Common cause, this guy. Bring back Gimli. Cancel the next event plate. Thanks, Sauron. Really cool. Like the, thanks, thank you, thanks. Wonderful, helpful, really. He looks more like a grocer than a burglar. All right, new rounds. What do we got? At 45, what is he gonna, what is he gonna do? Each player sheds their entire deck. That means we have no more cards left? Doesn't sound nice. Sounds terrifying. Heal our ranged bro. We need a ranged bro to attack the guard immediately, I think. Kamikaze is back, another round shield for block. We have block in all of our important people on all of our beefy boys. So what if I activate block right now on Aragorn? This one will attack. Yep. Now we can comfortably shoot at this guy to get that block down. Okay, took a little bit of damage back, but we're, we're fine. Uh, maybe I should have just had Gimli take him out, but I just, you know, the one damage really wouldn't have been a big deal. Get one of these guys. Defeat two more enemies. Odd Guardian. 
garden stall word. We need to take that thing out immediately. Okay, so now, good thing that we did actually wait because Gimli can take that thing out. Right? Yes. Why did he go down and attack? Oh, he got one, plus one because he was fighting a spider. He, he's carrying Sting currently. Makes sense to me. Um, get more ranged dudes out there, maybe. And maybe a guard. He gets standard block right off the bat. Pull the white city. Then what we can do is get Bilbo. For Rivendell. Common cause. Guard boy. He's not guarding anything. Get her back. I could have gotten Gimli back so he could kill the spider, but I'm gonna get her so that we can For get Gimli. Rivendell. Like really, really good, and then like finish it up. Done. You must make room to add this character to your party. Select an ally to replace or cancel. Oh, uh, sh oh, shoot. Whoops. I didn't know what was gonna happen. I guess I'll take the guard guy out. Double. I can help with that. A surprising rescue. You tear into a concerningly large cocoon, much to your disappointment, but not to his. The cocoon contains not Bilbo, but Bjorning by the name of Will Elk. I'm Will Elk, stalwart. Bro, That's kill for me. Enough. Quest complete, we're done. The lady and her brood are gathered at the edge of their lair. A band of orcs and goblins have emerged from the trees. Some heave empty wagons, others carry torches. A huge orc tromps to stand before the lady. Oh, the moon is full, Spidey. Uthak comes to collect! He snarls. The lady chitters at her lieutenants who rush back into the webs. The spiders soon return with web-wrapped cocoons, depositing them in front of the orc captain. Goblins rush to gather the cocoons, loading them into carts. As the last cocoons are loaded, a hooded goblin begins screeching at Uthak, pointing to a parchment full of hash marks. Uthak glares at the yelling goblin for a moment and blinks and pivots back to the lady. We won short, Leggy. The orc's grainy voice is mild, but laced with promise of violence. Cold masters don't like short. Uthok don't like short. We had deal. After recovering, Will Elk thanks you profusely. Over the past few months, he tells you, a number of tribesmen have gone mysteriously absent. He suspects they've fallen prey to similar circumstances, but offers no explanation as to why the great spiders have suddenly become so daring. Afraid to return home through the forest alone, Will Elk offers to join you, and suggests which direction the spiders were taking him. Somewhere under the never-ending trees before you, an old hobbit awaits rescue, or doom. Quest complete. Now we got our rewards for how we did. Unlocked some cards. Quest challenge, avoid triggering any location specific threat events. I think we failed that. Play six event cards for each player. We can use these points to uh, purchase more cards. There's also things like unlocking um, alternate art for different cards. Maybe more uses, I'm not sure. But like I said, you guys, you can customize your deck with heroes and a bunch of other cards. Avatars, frames, emotes, card backs. Didn't get a chance to check out multiplayer, but I'm sure it's awesome. And this has been our look at the Lord of the Rings adventure card game. I think this game's value lies within the fact that it is a slow moving, lore based, non-competitive version of some of the popular card games out there. But I enjoy that single player aspect, being able to learn this game at my own pace dive into it as deep as I want to and take as long as I feel like I need to complete each turn. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. There's a lot more here that we didn't cover. Go ahead, click the link in the description, check it out yourself. It's available on Steam right now and it will be available fall 2019 on consoles, Xbox One, PS4, and Switch. Let me know your thoughts. Like I said, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next episode. See you guys.